Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God. His name is Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, our Lord, our Savior, and our Deliverer, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shah. Call Halayim La Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who taught us this 100% truth. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. All right, salutations, peace, blessings, and safety to the hopeful elect, my fellow laborers, the Akiyam, doing this work in all truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth, risking their lives. All right, as well as the speckled bird, who are Israelites that look like the other nations, but whose lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, as well as the Akwati and the sisters, listening and learning and taking heed to this word. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah Barakatan. Mr. Brother Abijah back with another lesson through the Spirit. And um, I'm going to be going into uh, what the world ignorantly calls UFOs. Okay? Those ain't UFOs. All right? They the chariots of the Lord, man. Those ain't UFOs. They the chariots of the Lord. All right? And I got uh, to pull it up, this definition. Of the term UFO. Okay. And it means. Technically it means. Unidentified flying object. But the Google definition says. A mysterious object. Seen in the sky for which. It is claimed. No orthodox scientific explanation. Can be found. Okay. In other words. An unidentified flying object. Okay. And if you go to images. They'll show. Real and fake pictures of these so-called UFOs or unidentified flying objects, which they are very real. And they are not unidentified. They are very much so identified. All right. And as the scriptures tell us, these are the chariots of the Lord. All right. Just to click on some of these pictures. I'm going to click on some of the real ones. Okay, the chariots come in many different forms, many shapes, many sizes, many colors. Okay, and, and the chariots of the Lord, you know, which ultimately they are the angels of the Lord, and they are the, the heavenly vehicles. Okay, they are the, the vehicles of the angels. All right. And uh, the chariots are very fast, man, very fast. You know, faster than we can uh, imagine. You know, they can they can go they can turn invisible. Okay, they defy gravity. They can uh, blend in with the clouds as a cloud. You know, and they can be in plain sight. They can be real small ones and they can be humongous ones. But it ain't no little big headed uh huge eye creatures in these in these chariots, man. It's it's the angels of the Lord in these chariots. Not these little ass creatures that that Esau came up with. Okay. Ain't no damn aliens in them chariots, man. It's 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 angels in them chariots. And those angels are Israelites as well. Okay. I got some videos from the brother um you know who whose channel is uh, GMS Word of Life and also he got another channel, GMS Truth Be Told. And that brother begins some some amazing uh, videos. He be posting some amazing videos of, of chariot sightings around the world. All right, it's, it be some some amazing catches, man. But I'm gonna get a uh, scripture first. This is the book of Acts two and verse nineteen. And I will show wonders in heaven above, and signs in the earth beneath, blood, and fire, and vapor of smoke. Okay, and um. We see in signs 
in the heavens to this very, you know, this very day. All right. We've been seeing signs recently, and we're going to continue to see even more signs the closer we come to the end. All right. The Lord is showing signs in the heavens. Signs of what? Signs of the times that we in. Signs of the end. Okay. And a lot of these uh, signs are going to come by way of the, uh, the chariots, as well as other other um other signs uh you know as far as the moon and the sun okay and uh things happening in the earth okay but part of uh the lord showing those signs is revealing the chariots letting allowing the chariots to be seen there's been uh even more the, it's been the most um so-called ufo sightings ever in the history of sightings okay and uh since since the first couple of uh so-called ufos which are the chariots of the lord have been spotted and caught on camera you know now it's to the point to where it's, it's like a a normal thing when it used to be a rare thing when, and uh if you was to tell somebody that you saw a ufo they'd look at you like you was crazy but now it's something that nobody can ignore, nobody can uh, deny, because it's 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 uh pretty common now. You know, me personally, I see chariots all the time, and uh, plenty of brothers see chariots all the time. The chariots are the uh, the angels of the Lord. Okay, well, the the angels of the Lord are in the chariots, and um, the angels are the Lord's eyes, and as it is written. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. The angels are, are everywhere. You know, you you're not gonna always see the angels, but they always there. And uh, the angels are, are constantly watching. You know, they're they're protecting those who the Lord, um, you know, gives them the command to protect, as well as the angels is um doing the work of the Lord. And um. Hey, the, the angels is, is doing the work of the Lord, man, on the left hand side and on the right hand side. The angels is protecting and they they uh destroying. Okay. But the angels of the Lord are in every place beholding the evil and the good. And uh it, the, the scriptures also say that um the angel of the, the angels of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him. Okay, so those that fear Yahweh Ba Hashim Yahweh Shah. The angels is always going to be around them, okay, for protection, for guidance, for direction, all right, as well as, you know, to uh to give messages to 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 so um, you know, so to speak, program the minds of uh the Lord's men and you know women as well, but majority of the men. All right, again, Acts two and nineteen, and I will show wonders in heaven and above. And signs in in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. What the fuck? Oh my god! What the fuck? Tata! Tata! Snimaj, 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 snimaj. Morraš telefon, morraš telefon, morraš telefon. Eso, eso. Eno ga, eno ga. What the fuck, nešto? Eso. Eno ga, eto. Što se dešava? What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god. Ali vidiš ovo? Super, brus. What the fuck? Ta vi ne intel, tata. Yeah, you seen that uh that real bright um red chariot, you know, it was the color of fire. Alright. Uh, recently, you had this uh, a chariot be recorded, and it was humongous, man. It was, it was. I don't, I, don't, I forget how many. Uh, I 
I forget how many uh, times bigger than the, uh, than the earth, they said. But it was humongous, man. I guess, it, well, apparently, according to them, it's 25 times larger than the earth. But uh, I don't think this is the one I was looking for. No, this ain't the one I was looking for. But this was another one. You know, they said they came, they seen it uh coming out of the sun. All right, but that's not the one I was looking for. There was another one. No, this ain't the one I was looking for. Yeah, the, the one that I'm talking about. I believe this is the one. Yeah, this is the one. See if I can find a video of it. Yeah, this is it. Hopefully they got a video of it. But if not, it is what it is. Yeah, man, this is a huge, huge chariot. And I believe the, the, either the Pentagon or NASA got this on film. The footage was only four seconds long before the camera's malfunction. And then guess what? Started working after look this thing how huge passed. it is, man. But please, take a look at this. This is pretty spectacular. guys this one has to have the wow factor to it i mean if you just look at the very size of this thing this thing is huge you can see the planets lining up next to it venus earth mercury and this thing is bigger than them but it's all a perception of distance this thing could be further away and if it's further away this is a really huge ship and if it's closer then it's small but there's something there it's it's big Still big enough to put a few people in, but this thing here, I mean, it's, you can tell this doesn't look like our space station, no way. It doesn't look like any satellite that I have seen up in the sky. I mean, this thing, to be honest, when I first saw the footage, I thought of it. Ex yeah. You know, but you get the point. Alright, this is Ezekiel chapter 1 and verse 4. It says, And I looked, and, and, uh, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north, a great cloud, and a fire enfolding itself, and a brightness was about it. Out of the mist thereof, as the color of amber, out of the mist of the fire. Verse 16, The appearance of the wheels and their work was like unto the color of a barrel. All right, and the color of barrel. Let's look up the color of barrel. All right, this is the color of barrel. Again, it says, and I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north, a great cloud, and a fire enfolding itself, and the brightness was about it. All right. The ch again, the chariots come in many different forms. Some chariots are, are look like, you know, solid metal. Some chariots look like balls of fire. You know, some chariots are very bright light. You know, they have very bright lights on them. 
you know, are, and are very colorful. Some cherries just look like uh, clouds. It says, um, the appearance of the wheels in their work was likened to the color of, of beryl, and they four had one likeness. And their appearance in their work was as it were a wheel in the middle of a wheel. All right. When they went, they went upon their four sides, and they turned not when they went. Right. It's like uh, when you see, uh, you know, for, for example, you know, to give a, you know, the best visualization, visualization I can give is like when you see spinner rims and the wheels stop, but the, the wheels keep spinning. That's kind of how the, um, the chariots move. They don't necessarily spin when they move. You know, but they can uh, maneuver and uh, defy gravity and go, you know, every which way, you know, at will. Uh, verse 18, and their rings, and it says, as for their rings, they were so high that they were dreadful. And their rings were full of eyes round about them for. This is talking about the angels that's, that's uh, within these chariots. And when the living creatures went. The wheels went by them, and when the living creatures were lifted up from the earth, the wheels were lifted up. All right, so wherever the, the angels go, the chariots follow. Okay, you don't see the angels, but you can see the chariots sometimes, you know, when the Lord allows them to be uh, seen. Verse 20, whithersoever the spirit was to go, they went, talking about the chariots, you know, which is, uh, it's talking about the wheels, which is, Talking about the chariots. It says, Thither was their spirit to go, and the wheels were lifted up over against them. For the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels. Okay, so the spirits of these angels of the angels are in these wheels or these uh chariots that everybody calls UFO. Exodus 13 and 21. And Yahweh went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud to lead them the way and by night in the pillar of fire to give them light to go by day and night all right so the chariots you know the chariots is not they're just there for uh for show or for you know everybody's entertainment to just to be recorded you know the chariots is there because you know they're doing the lord's work okay they're um reporting to the lord the things that are going on in the earth evil and good they're looking over the lord's people all right they're ministering as well as, you know, uh, the chariots are used for, for guidance, especially in these times that we're coming into when some brothers may have to be chariot, uh, so like some brothers may have to be pilgrims upon the earth, okay? Uh, we have to expect these miracles to happen. The chariots is going to be leading some brothers through the wilderness, okay, wherever they may be, just like as they did in the, um, in the old days. Second Kings six and sixteen, which is is more within this chapter, you know, and um, you know, surrounding this verse. But just to get to the point, it says, and he answered, "Fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them." All right, and what what he was talking about is the chariots. All right, the chariots is the defense, in order, you know, the um. You know the weapon, so to speak, of the um, the Lord's men. Okay, the Lord, uh, the chariots are there to defend uh, the Lord's men as well. You know, they're there to guide, and they're there to defend. All right, that's why it says, "For they that be with us are more than they that be with them," because you know the well. I'm, I'm gonna get to that. Zechariah 5 and 1. Then I turned and lifted up mine eyes and looked, and behold, a flying roll. All right, and that flying roll is, is the way that, um, you know, they explained it to the best of their ability back then when they saw these these chariots. All right. And uh, he, he likened it unto a, a flying roll. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is 20 cubits 
and the breadth thereof is twenty is ten cubits. Alright, so this is saying that it's a small, you know, a small chariot. Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. So these chariots are curses upon the earth because you know a America is going to be destroyed in part by way of these these chariots. When the Lord returns in his humongous chariot, okay, with the angels, you know, the, the multitude of angels in the, in their chariots. Okay, and these chariots they shoot out that concentrated fire, those, those beams. All right, and, and while the while them ICBM nuclear missiles is hitting this place, the chariots is also gonna be uh you no know, burning this place up as well. Okay, and that, that is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. It says, For everyone that stilleth shall be cut off as on this side according to it, and everyone that sweareth shall be cut off on on that side according to it. And I will bring it forth, saith Yahweh of hosts. Okay. Uh the word host goes into armies. Okay, and the Lord is a man of war. All right, and the Lord is in control of all armies, man. And it shall enter into the house of the thief, and into the house of him that sweareth falsely by my name, and it shall remain in the midst of his house, and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof. All right, so these chariots is going to come and, uh, and, you know, wreak havoc on America, Babylon the Great, and uh, a, a lot of other places as well. All right, but mainly and chiefly, this place is going to be utter, utterly destroyed by those chariots and them ICBM missiles. All right, this place is cursed unto destruction. All right. And um, this is like a visualization of a flying roll that somebody had got on um on camera. Psalm 68 and 17, the chariots of the Most High are 20,000, even thousands of angels. All right. So the chariots and the angels go hand in hand, man. Again, it says the chariots of the Most High are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them, as in Sinai, in the holy place. Ascribe ye strength unto the Most High. His excellency is over Israel, and his strength is in the clouds all right and then uh you know hey the the chariots they dwell in the clouds it says verse 35 O power thou art terrible out of the out of thy holy places the most high of israel is he that giveth strength and power unto his people blessed be yahweh okay barakatha yahweh Okay, he said, you know, the chariots of the Lord are 20,000, even thousands of angels. Oh, no cap, what the fuck? This is a fleet of chariots. What? Caught on tape in Boston. Bro, what? Dog, you see this shit? Yeah. 
man. Just look at that, man. You can't even count that if you try, man. That's that, that's what you call a fleet of chariots. Look at that. There's so many chariots up there, man. They look like stars, man. Yeah, better than stars, of course, but you know that, that's a man. That would have been beautiful to see in in in, in person, man. All right, but that's 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 not even all of the Lord's chariots. Luke twenty one and twenty seven, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud, with power and and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. All right, so when that when the chariots come, man, ultimately when the Lord returns, and you know with the chariots. You know, the chariots is going to bring destruction, and the, and the chariots is also going to be delivering the Lord's elect. All right, so it's all, you know, the Lord being all about balance. You know, as the scriptures uh, say, you know, uh, a false balance is an abomination unto the Lord. Okay, but a just weight is his delight. So the Lord is all about balance. So with the destruction he's going to bring, he's going to also bring that, that, uh, that deliverance, you know, that salvation. For his elect, the one third of Israel, all right, the remnant, those are the ones who are going to be beamed up in the chariots, you know, simultaneously while that destruction is taking place. All right, but the uh, the chariots are also called cloud. It's a huge one. Look, everybody, look who we got here. That's bigger than the mountain. Right now. By Mount Rainier. The hugest ship I have seen. We have one. He's been trailing behind. Look at this. <laughs> Second edges. Hold on. Let me play this last video and then I'm gonna get the uh, I'm gonna close it out. Again, I'm gonna read the scripture. This is uh, Ezekiel 1, I'm going to start at 16. The appearance of the wheels and their work was like unto the color of a barrel, and they four had one likeness, and their appearance and their work was as they were a wheel in the middle of a wheel. I said, okay, shit. Get the fuck out of here. 